whose side are you going to take me or the, like the huge Bravo person? So eventually, yeah. just like with Kyle and Kathy, the snitch and I will, this person, this scumbag, I know exactly who he is, is on my blacklist. I will never deal with him. So he told, I mean, he didn't lie, but he told this person, oh yeah, he, he, here's the email. D- David's, which is so unethical. But it happens. So the same thing happened. The person was like, here, it, it's literally. So the person called me and they said, ah, you fucking liar. <laughs> so I mean, I, I got caught in a lie because I said, it's I didn't so do funny this. funny because you usually never, I mean, you are a really straight shooter. So I it mean, was the, Sarah, it was the beginning it was of like, the career. It was the beginning. I, know. I, know. I didn't know. And I, but the point is, yeah, if you're Kathy Hilton, you call me like, listen, hey, paid six. Hey, people, hey, entertainment tonight. This is Kathy fucking Hilton. Do you want an exclusive interview with me like blowing Paris? I'll give you that, but I need to know. So it's not that hard. If you are powerful and you have certain connections, sure. they will, you promise them something. So the same thing happened to me. The same thing. So Erica and Erica's publicist, the same thing happened to me. And it was like, fuck. And then I was like, all right, well, I mean, what do you want from me? I mean, he's telling me you have the proof. I mean, I guess I lied, which is why you should never lie people. But it, it does work like that. Now, something years later in my behind the velvet rope career kind of happened like this. And I took the total, n- not that I lied. It was the exact opposite, but I actually got someone fired. I literally called and I was like, now we're not playing games because mama knows how the job works. This person released this. Are you kidding me? This is so unethical. And I got someone in big fucking trouble and on probation and like lost their job. Don't fuck with me. Wow. (laughs) But anyway, because it's, it is, it's, it really is. If you think about it, it shouldn't be happening. It's, it's the breach of journalistic integrity but i mean it does happen so i did get someone fired um but to your point okay i mean yeah i guess you're right kyle the right where would she uh, yeah i'm sure if kathy helton called for months you and i have been talking and our audience the fabulous people that listen to our podcast together say oh you know you guys defend the fox four or five you know or what is it fox five fox, four. i say four because who cares about melon camp i mean right she's fired melon bull um fox five fours or four five, whatever the okay you guys <laughs> terrible with the english they're language. well they're they're, they're gonna add this they're gonna add this to your list of things you don't know about bravo and they're gonna give <laughs> they're gonna give me an air full fire sarah she doesn't know bravo everyone shush I, you know, look, if I had a huge brain between these two ears, do you think You're I'd busy. be talking about celebrity gossip? No. I mean, my You're God, busy I'd, with 90 day. I'd be a heart surgeon. That's why I do this. So I don't get the facts all correct. Anyway, all I'm saying is this group of four women is breaking up. I mean, you know, we're hearing left and right leaks from the reunion. You know, Kyle is so upset. She's even spoken publicly. They're not the friends that they thought they were. To your point, I think Erica's publicist, it is genius. They're taking the heat off of Erica. They're redirecting the narrative, Um, which, you know, and is it at Kyle's expense, her friend of seven years? I mean, a little bit, but also Kathy, it sounds like, did have this outburst in Aspen. And by the way, I mean, after this week, where Kathy Hilton is on every little no-namers podcast, you know, Instagram commenting, and it's like, I don't have any. Kathy loves the press. Kathy loves the PR. I don't have, I mean, I adore Kathy Hilton. Believe me, I, like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. She's she's Hollywood royalty. She's Beverly Hills royalty. But, I mean, Kathy loves this and knows what she's doing. Once you always say things, and there's so much to unpack. Um, there's so much to unpack. Once again, Right. Now, I also think that I think it's a brilliant move by the publicist. And if, you know, he did it, I mean, bravo. I'd like, I almost hired this guy at one point. I had a publicist. She was absolutely horrible. I had to fire her fucking ass. Um, But (laughs) I, I don't know if, I mean, if he did this, does that really mean that that Erica knew? Did, I mean, does, does that, like, I'm just saying, I guess it's all a moot point, but that doesn't mean that Erica Jane knew that he was doing this, right? Yeah, oh, come on. I mean, yes. You know, if Erica okay. is going to him and saying, oh my God, you wouldn't believe. I mean, and I love Erica. Well, except for the deleted scene. Come on. Apparently he was over, he was listening. But yes, I guess. I guess. Well, okay. The deleted, you're, to your point, right? We didn't see that. So the way it's edited here in the United States, it certainly makes it look like Erica 
called him up and would be like, you will never believe this. And of course, if you're telling your publicist that, you know what they're going to do. So, but I guess to your point, if we are, if we've got deleted scenes like we do, maybe she didn't know. Fair enough. Maybe she didn't know. But a couple of things we'll get into the reading about what you said earlier about Rena. Oh, she is just right. You think it's going to be her and yet her hands. I'm, I will stand by this. The two things I said, A, I think she's probably the most hated housewife in the history of housewives. B, I think she's more hated than Erica Jane was last season. And C, I mean, she's she's top five, guys. I don't care if you hate her. She is top five at under, maybe top three at understanding this assignment. Uh, she is so- she might be she, the queen now. I she mean, might be the queen. She might I be mean, number one. I mean, I think Bethany is probably number one because she came in with a plan of, I don't want to do this. And I'm going to plug my product every minute from hawking the shit at the grocery store to scene. like to like driving a car that anyone would be embarrassed to drive that said skinny girl on the side. Like, So I think <laughs> Bethany's number one. But to me, I think Rinna might be number two. I'll stand by that. But- yeah. I mean, but I have such mixed feelings about Rena lately too. Like is Rena because she, she whispers on her Instagram, she whispers and she says uh, on her TikTok, I know what I'm doing. I know. Does she know, like, is she brilliant or is it category B where she's just losing her mind and lost herself over the years, or is it, I have a third category now that I came up with the other day. Okay. Is it like for anyone who has suffered such loss, is it like when you lose someone close to you, sometimes it's just like, look, life is really easy, right? Everyone's taking this, you know, say bad things about David. And so we don't care. So, but the way people get so angry about this, I think when you lose someone close to you and you might snap back into regular life, but when you lose someone close to you, isn't it just doesn't, isn't it like an opportunity to just have life be a learning lesson? And life is so simple. You're either alive or you're dead. And if you're alive, who cares? Give us a bad review. Say that I'm this. Who, we, who cares about anything? Could it be category three that Rita is just like, I don't care. Put me on pause. I don't care. My mother is dead. Short of my children and Harry, I don't care anymore about anything. No, I think Rena wants- I like that category. Much, okay. Right? I'm just saying, yeah, I think I, I think Rena wants as much money as possible. Don't, I mean, who doesn't? I mean, I've told you some, uh, I'd like as much money. She's up there. I mean, I know Candy, Bur- I know Candy's the highest paid, but- Rena's high. She's high. And Rena could go higher because- that's a brilliant, David, that was brilliant. You the like analogy. That. That's, 